Hi friends, welcome to time to learn. Friends, in this video, we will create application to repeat our text. Here, type our text. I will type, hi friends, welcome to time to learn. If I want to repeat 100 times or more, I will type the number here. If I want to repeat for 1000 times, I will type number here then I will click on share button I will select whatsapp if I will send to my number here you can observe that hi friends welcome to time to learn then click on send button here you can observe that hi friends welcome to time to learn repeated thousand times like that we will create application in android studio Now we will go with a new project. If you want to see all tabs and windows in the Android Studio, I will provide iCard you can see from there. Now we will go with a new file, click on file, then select a new, then select a new project. If you want to see how to create a new project in Android Studio, I will provide iCard you can see from there. Now select empty activity, then click on next. Here name. In this name section, we need to give our application name. I will give as a repeat text n times. Here, if you want, you can also use the capital letters repeat text. n times okay this is our project name and in a package name it is not required now here select api level 20 if you select api level 20 we can run on approximately 94.1 percent of devices then click on finish now our project is loading please wait a while to complete this task now gradle build is running after finishing this we can write our code in this android studio now gradle build is finished in two minutes first we will go with activity underscore main that xml file now click on this split option to get code under design okay this is the default code now delete this constant layout and add a relative layout ok now remove this text view now we want to add edit text edit text layout width is match parent height is 100 dp now give id for that edit text id is id text okay margin from top is 150 db then margin left is 10 db then margin right also 10 db now hint for the text Hint is enter text. Okay. Now close this uh, edit text. Now we add one more edit text to get the count. So edit text. Match parent and wrap content. Width is match parent, height is wrap content. Now give id for that edit text id is id int text Now hint for that edit text 
int is center number now we need to place this edit text below this uh, edit text so below here we need to give this id id and slash text okay now margin layout margin is 20 dp now close this edit text here we need to add a button if you click on that button we can share so add a button now button with this wrap content height also wrap content now id for that button id button ok now we need to place this button below this edit text for that below id int text now center horizontal is true now text for that button share margin top is 5 dp ok now close this button here for this edit text we will add a input type so input type is phone only we can get numbers now our design part is completed now we need to go with the main activity dot java so select it here we need to initialize that edit text and button so edit text is a text comma int text semicolon and also we need to initialize button button and we want strings and uh, integer so string edit text comma final underscore text semicolon now we need a int so private static int is count after completing this we need to find that edit text and button so go to onCreate method inside this onCreate method we need to find that text and int text so text is equals to find view by id or dot id dot text okay semicolon now we need to find this int text so int text is equals to find view by id or dot id dot int text semicolon now we need to find button so btn is equals to find view by id or dot id dot btn okay, semicolon if you click on this button we need to check whether that is filled or not so btn dot set on click listener new view on click listener ok inside this on click method we need to find whether the edit text is filled or not so if text details dot is empty text dot get text so if it is empty we need to show error we need to show error message so 
so text dot set error here we need to give error message error message is enter text if the repeat edit text inbox is empty we need to show error so else if text utils dot is empty is empty int text dot get text if it is empty we need to show error so int text dot set error error message is please enter repeat count repeat count okay if both edit text are filled we need to go with the send action else here we will write our code to send here we need to call intent intent share intent is equals to new intent inside this brackets intent dot action send okay action send select it then semicolon now the share type is share intent dot set type type is text slash line okay then semicolon now we need to take text from this uh, edit text and we need to store in a final text so edit text is equals to text dot get to text dot to string okay then semicolon now we need to take count from that edit text so count is equals to integer dot parse int so int text dot get text to string now close this with semicolon take a int so int i is equals to 1 semicolon here we need to apply loop so while count is less than or equals to i we need to perform the action now i will decrease the count count minus minus okay here we need to initialize the final text so final text is equals to empty string after decreasing the count here we need to add the edit text to this uh, final text so final text is equals to final text plus with a new line plus this edit text so edit text okay now semicolon now share intent dot put extra intent dot extra text comma final text okay after that semicolon after completing this while loop we will share so start activity intent dot create chooser 
intent is share intent we can add title title is share via or you can also add just share whatever the text you want you can add here inside this share via okay after that close it with a semicolon now our application is completed try to run on a device my laptop have hardware problem that's why i'm running in my mobile phone if you want to see how to run in mobile phone you can see i will provide in i card even though if you want to run in emulator i will provide i card you can see from there okay here you can observe that my mobile vivo 1902 click on this play icon to run application in our device here you can observe that gradle build is running here you can observe that install successfully finished in 3 seconds and you can also observe the interface in our mobile phone this is input text hi friends welcome to time to learn here we need to enter the count you can also observe that only we are getting numbers then I will enter here 10 then click on share here you can select to where you want to send I will send to whatsapp to my number here you can observe that hi friends welcome to time to learn the message is repeating for 10 times 3 3 then 4 totally 10 times ok friends that's it for this tutorial if you like it give a like if you don't like it give a dislike if you have any doubts you can comment thank you friends thank you for watching